We had a great message in chapel this week, man. You got to be the light. Even when other sides that offense light isn't shining as hard as you know you know in past that offense has always kind of shined brighter than us and we kind of needed their juice to big us up. Um, we got to be the offense's light this time. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode. Please like the video and subscribe. Our target is only a thousand likes. So, in an unfortunate twist, the Dallas Cowboys entered the NFL record books not for an achievement, but for an unprecedented losing trend on their home turf. During their Week 10 defeat by the Philadelphia Eagles, the Dallas Cowboys became the first team in league history to trail by 20 or more points in five consecutive home games. This streak began during last season's playoffs and has continued to mar their home field performances ever since. The slide started in the wildcard playoff round, where the Cowboys fell to the Green Bay Packers. The final score was 48-32. to At one stage, they trailed the Packers by a staggering 27 points, setting a worrying tone. Dallas struggles didn't end there. In Week 2, they endured a crushing 44-19 loss to the New Orleans Saints. The following week, they again found themselves in deep trouble against the Baltimore Ravens, trailing by 28-6 before ultimately losing a closer 28-25. Their fortunes worsened in Week 6 as they suffered a devastating 47-9 blowout at the hands of the Detroit Lions. The record-breaking streak reached five games with a 34-6 loss to the Eagles. We had a great message in chapel this week, man. You gotta be the light. Even when other sides that offense light isn't shining as hard as you know you know in past that offense has always kind of shined brighter than us and we kind of needed their juice to big us up. Um, we got to be the offense's light this time, you know. I, that's and you know every time we had a turnover, I, I looked at the guy said we knew some bad shit was gonna happen. I mean that's a, that's where we at with this. So but we got to be the light. We got to hold them to three, and you know I think they earned one good drive before half. I give them that drive, but you know I feel like. Some things gave them those other, some aspects of the game gave them those other touchdowns. But I, you know, overall, I'm happy for these defensive guys how they played. Um, obviously, you want some plays back, a couple of those penalties cost us. But I'm happy in the direction where we're going. How's your ankle feeling? Um, right now, you know, I'm juiced up, so um, you know, I'm probably cool, but I might be in a boot tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Micah, how, how's it more likely? Was it when you got the fumble on the six and? You weren't able to punch it in and take the lead and settle for a field goal and made it 7 6. Hey, like I said, be the light. You can't let it get to you. Um, understand that, you know, our quarterback's out. Things ain't always going to be how you expect it. And um, you kind of just got to be the light and I just sideline bringing the guys back up. It's all right. Hey, we got to do our job. You know, we got just got to get the ball back. So, um, you know, it's, it's one of them years where, like I said, it's challenging. But we got to be the light for everybody. Where were you when you Where were you when you heard the news about Dak? What was your reaction? And with him out, do you have to be more of a leader on game day? Yeah, for sure. You know, I think um, this team needs a, a heart, uh, a soul. Um, obviously, missing Dak and his energy, the things that he brings to this game. Um, you know, as I try to do that for our defense, I got to do it for the offensive guys too, and play harder and do everything I can to build this team back up. What was your reaction? You know, obviously devastating, you know. Uh, many times you lose your starting quarterback that, you know, you're kind of banking on. It, it hurts everybody. And just as you're Mike, coming back, he's going up. Yeah, just as I'm coming back. Mike, um, Mike's on the penalty year of his contract, so outside there's, of course, going to be questions. What's the sentiment inside the locker room, and what do you tell people who are wondering about whether Mike will be your coach next year? You know, that's above my pay grade about if Mike is coaching again next year. Um, but, you know, I... All coaching side, coaching, you know, Mike can leave and go wherever he wants, but the guys I, you know, I kind of feel bad for is guys like Zach Martin and guys who might be on their last year or on their way out, you know, because that's who I wanted to hold the trophy for. You know, you want to win games and do great things with those type of legends who put in more time and work than Mike McCarthy ever did. So those are the kind of guys that I have so much sympathy and hurt for. You guys were 2-2 two and two when you got hurt. You're 3-6 and six now and you're seemingly well out of the playoff picture. How do you contend with the feeling that the season is lost? Be the light. Even when it's dark as fuck, light up, bro. <laughs> you know, and just the way that they've been able to play, uh, the intensity, being able to take the ball over um, and get the ball back. And it's, it's, it's always here when we can take advantage of those opportunities as well. So just need that same intensity here moving forward. How much did it mean to you that after the fumble they were able to it means everything. Um, it's, it's complimentary ball in the sense, um, you know, one 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 phase of the team having other phases back, and um, you know, I, I own that completely. You know, I'm very aware of what was going on on the play, um, 
you know, he made a great catch. Um, and then the other one just uh, caught me in a bad moment. I uh, had, had one hand on the ball. I got to protect the ball better. So, um, you know, always good when we can rally around those things and continue to persevere, be a resilient team, and move forward. How were you able, you how were you able to, to rebound after those uh, turnovers and drive the team the other way for that touchdown? So, it's just... Um, you know, kind of momentum is, a, is an illusion in a sense because it can end and begin at, at any moment. And so uh, just treating every play as its own. Moving mm -hmm. on. What did you see on that interception? I, I, I had them. Um, knew exactly what they were going to do. Um, had a good good eye for it. Seven just made a hell of a play. Um, and much respect to him making a hell of a play. Uh, tried to fit it in there. Could have got outside to Grant. Um, actually told Grant that that was going to happen, and I didn't pull the trigger on it. So um, I own it. I own it. And um, I, own the, I own the fumble as well. And it will be an opportunity for us to grow from it. I, I learn from it as well. On the touchdown to Dallas, uh, that rushing came out. Were you expecting that? With how soon did you see him? Sorry? The, the touchdown to Dallas, uh, well, whenever the rusher came to you, yeah. got past him, was that someone you anticipated? Or how quick did you see him? What did it take to kind of it seems like they were coming after you that time. Yeah. Um, it, uh, that was actually, uh, you know, we didn't turn the protection to him, so he ended up coming free through the gap. And um, it was either I get the ball out or I make a play. I chose to make a play. You had a Dallas number. made a hell of a catch. You had a number of uh, throws downfield off, off the scramble drill. Um, Obviously, you guys are working on that a lot, but how, how important was it for your receivers to find find space in the, you know, against those I just think everybody's alive on every play. That's the mentality of it. Uh, everybody's alive. Everybody has an opportunity to get to play on any given play. Um, there are some that, that I like to have back um, in terms of an opportunity that maybe we could have taken advantage of if we're on the same page or if there's better a better ball to them. But in the end, um, you know, everybody uh, everybody showed up and just kept playing. You know, and I know obviously that starts with me. That starts with my mentality, my intensity, uh, my focus, and, and what I go out there and do. And so I just, I'm just trying to lead and be present and serve my team in the ways that I can. After the fumble, you kind of went up and down the bench, like shaking everybody's hand. You um, saw that? What's that? So you saw that? I did, yes. So, I mean, what was that? What was kind of going through your mind in the moment? Like, were you trying to tell these guys, like, keep your head in there? And, Everything and uh, all on it. No, um, I, you know, I think um, it's just um, we're, we're in it together, you know, and I have, you know, zero pride or anything involved in owning my mistakes. Um, and so I, I made a mistake, and I and, and it hurt the team, you know. But I was I was thankful for they had my, they had my back, and um, you know, more so the defense and how they responded and how they played and just the conversations we have. And I think that's something that starts in the middle of the week, not even on Sundays, but we know um, that, that it takes all of us. And then um, obviously everyone, you know, offensively just knowing we're just going to keep pressing and keep moving forward, um, keep staying with it, you know, keep throwing punches. And that's exactly, um, I think, how we handled it. There was a report that you hurt your ankle, you were dealing with something with your ankle, and Nick accidentally said something about there being an ankle last week. Is that something that you're dealing with? I'm fine. Did it look like it was hurting today? Um, I'm just asking if it's yeah, if there's an injury or something. I'm just asking how it look. Yeah, I watched the whole game. Uh, on the touchdown, how soon before you start thinking about Washington? How soon before you start thinking about Washington? Yeah, well, you know, I watched the tape on the plane. Uh, watched the tape on the plane and meet with the coaches briefly on the plane and dive through it, process it, and then as soon as we lay foot back in Philadelphia, you know, it's over. You know, we're, we're moving on. Usually, you put a 24-hour rule on it. I do. But it's, it's obviously something that would be lessened and brief. And so, uh, we'll, we'll get going. How different is it when you have all your weapons on the field? I think this is really only the second time all year. And, and does it make things harder in some ways because you know everybody's not going to get the ball? Yeah, well, I've, I've been on this road in, in terms of hitting on, um, you know, there are a lot of mouths to feed and 
that's something that you have to navigate, you know, and I think that's not solely on me um, in terms of how we call it and how we decide to uh, pursue the game and, and getting guys involved. But ultimately, it's my job to go out there and execute whatever it's called. And so, um, you know, it's, it's a, it's, it, it, it takes, for the things that we're trying to accomplish, it takes a group of selfless men. And knowing that um, everybody has a role and everybody's role may look different, it may vary, it may have different wages on it from game to game, but ultimately, um, you know, it's about winning, you know, and I've, I've, I've posed the question before, rhetorically, um, and I've said, you know, when did winning not become the main thing? And that's exactly what this thing is about. Everybody being together in that, everybody understanding the mission, the vision of what we're trying to accomplish as a team. It seemed like everybody was pretty excited for Johnny Wilson to get his first touchdown. I think he was one of the guys who was with you in Texas or wherever you're working yeah. out. Uh, what did that mean to you for him to get his first touchdown? Man, it means a lot because you, you start to get down to the stretch of the season. And sometimes I think guys, um, guys, you know, especially young guys, they try and search for their, pl their place on the team. What's their role? You know, and you got to be diligent. You got to be patient. You know, Anias, uh, Johnny, those guys just – Pressing on, and Ice wasn't even on the um, active for it. Well, he 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 was he missed like the first five weeks. I don't know what for, but he wasn't on. You know, he wasn't suiting up, um, and he went through a little process there. And then Johnny just um, showing up, doing a lot of dirty work. Uh, you know, I, I think he had a touchdown. I think it was a touchdown last week, but had that wiped off the board. But just to see him persevering. The excitement when Jahan makes the catch last week. I mean, those are the things that are pure. Um, and he's appreciative of all of his opportunities. And um, I think, you know, just any time you, you get the chance to build, you know, you, you talk about building that trust, you talk about building that connection, that's what it comes down to. And that doesn't just apply to Schmitty on the one hand catch last week like we all discussed, and that trust and connection we have or, um, you know, fourth, fourth down, Call getting the AJ on a vertical, the trust that we have in that, and all the work that we put in. But trying to build that rapport with every every single last guy on, on the team, um, every every last skilled guy, and um, I'm just happy for for Johnny, uh, able, able to execute the, the scramble drill and uh, make a play, and we need to continue to keep building. Uh, I think we all have a lot of history here, you know, and uh, feel, it feels good to win at home again, you know. Four hours away, but I take it. And I know for Kellen, um, you know, I, I, it, it does feel good to win, you know, in the state of Texas, but it's just all bigger than that, you know, like it, it truly is. No, nobody's even... Um, you know, it's kind of you have your moments or your mind, you, you bring it up, and it's like, okay, this is where we are. But ultimately, everybody's um, everybody's truly invested in just doing their part. He, you look at his film, you see he can do it. I mean, he got he got picks, he got coverage, and everything. He just haven't been in the middle of the defense. Now he had, now he is. I mean, it was easy. We got good coaches. Uh, Vic, uh, BK, our linebacker coach, everybody done a good job. He has done a good job. Man. Everybody just continue to get better. Continue to, you know, yeah, get better. As you guys keep putting these consistent performances out on the field, how do you feel in this Vic Fangio scheme? How is everyone really gelling? The put this together. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, it's our defense. We, I mean, I know it's, I know you know Vic making all the calls and everything, but everybody taking ownership of the defense. You know, we wanna, we we, we holding ourselves to a standard. We have set a standard to our play and the way we play, uh, the way we the way we take the ball away, the way we tackle, the way we execute, the way we make plays. We have set a standard and, and we trying to play that standard every chance we get. CJ said this was maybe the most dominant performance from you guys. Do you agree with that? I mean, we had what five takeaways. I mean, yeah, we haven't had five <laughs> takeaways in a minute. So yeah, uh, being able to take the ball away and you know got everybody having fun everybody eating. i mean he, i mean we he had you had most of the stars sit out by the full court i ain't did that since what, high school i mean college yeah is that good with a short week coming up for sure i mean everybody in the nfl who have played a thursday night football game know how fast it comes around after that sunday so uh 
the recovery starts now. And for this Eagles team to beat the Cowboys in Dallas the first time since 2017, how big is that for this team right now? I mean, uh, it's big, period. It's big, period, to get another win. You know, the, for us, the most important game is the next. So, uh, and, you know, I, this is my first time winning this building, so it's always great. Are you guys competitive about the takeaways? For sure, for sure. The, the linebacker competitive with the uh, DBs. I'm competitive with Zach. He whooped my ass right now. So I got I to gotta, I gotta get back. I got to get right. So, yeah. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you, Kobe. Uh, so, you know, I don't know what happened. You probably got to look at the sacks, but were they doing anything different in terms of their pass rush? Uh, yeah, they were doing like a three-man front. Sometimes they were putting the backers like 35 and 13 and 50 down. It was like D-tackle, so it kind of messed up with some of the points. So we'll have to go back and look at it, but I think that was the, the issue. What turned things for you guys? Um, you know, we scored before the half, and then we came out and uh, created some momentum. And defense, I thought, just you know, played really lights out the whole game. Um, you know, first half, we left a lot of opportunities out there. And, um, you know, but I was telling those guys, last time I won here was uh, 2017. So, yeah. Yeah. getting my ass kicked, uh, kicked here a lot, so. How big uh, was that, uh, I don't know what happened to Jalen. There was an unblocked guy, touchdown pass to Dallas, but I don't know if you got to see, look at it, what happened, protection and... I don't even remember. Yeah. I got I to gotta go watch. I don't know. I know you guys say. Or, or, it, might, or it might have been the backer plug and we have a sift, so I may have to squeeze down, but I, I can't really remember. I remember him catching it, but I don't remember the protection. And you guys say every year that it's a new team, but you just mentioned the 2017, the last time you guys won here. How big is that to now flip the script? Yeah, I mean, they've, they've had our number here, and, it's, and this feels like, uh, How we doing? you know, and a lot of the, the the wins were by a lot of points too, so you know they, they weren't close. So you know, you know coming in, they, they have you know your full attention. Uh, when number 11's in the game, uh, Parsons, he's got my full attention. So um, you know, to me, I think he's you know him and Miles Garrett, Watt, you know those guys are some of the best in the league. So did a good job, uh, you know, retaining him the best we could. Uh, still still made some plays, but you know I thought they did a good job with. Uh, with uh, rotation of the linebackers and, and trying to confuse our points. And so, you know, I think that that's why the run game maybe, you know, wasn't what it was Lane, in the last couple weeks. As banged up as they are, is it hard not to take a game to ran with it? Yeah, I mean, especially here, like I was, I was telling, um, you know, a lot of the younger guys weren't here. Sorry, Mikhail, we in your, <laughs> in your locker. Uh, yeah, so we haven't won here since 2017, so um, you know, they, they had our utmost attention. And uh, yeah, I mean, anytime you play uh, a player like Parsons, you know, it's a, it's a long week for the tackles. You know, we put a lot of emphasis on, on trying to find where he is, but. How important was it to, to maybe get the fourth, to, to get the fourth quarter off when you got a game coming up off in the magnitude of this thing? Yeah, um, you know, that's big. Uh, I think we have a lift tomorrow, and then we'll be, you know, right back at it. So breaking out Washington, which, uh, you know, is a dangerous team. Uh, got my one of my good friend Zach Ertz over there, so um, you know, it'd be weird seeing him over there. But yeah, and Marcus. So, but you know, um, it's competitive. It's gonna be a competitive game next week. Uh, I've been watching them. They're they're very dangerous, very talented, and and uh, you know, very good team. The fact that you guys are getting these, these big double-digit does that say something to you? Double-digit. Uh, we're starting to score some points in the first quarter. Uh, we all know what was it, a seven, uh, ten, seven. So uh, we're getting better. I, I I still feel you know when you go back and watch the game, there's some pivotal points early where you know we didn't we didn't convert on a on a turnover turnover and and, and being great field position. So you know and, and moving forward, we want to we want to be able to put a, a complete game together. So we had you know I think defense played one of their best games this year. Uh, offense we we picked it up second half and. Uh, so yeah. What does that like kind of do for the vibe of the defense when you kind of deliver a blow like that? Um, set a set a physical tone for the team. To be honest with you, it's one of those games like I know they got a lot of people out. We understand like we got to set the tone to be a more physical football team than they are. Regardless of who's out there, and I think first players is a tone setter, and we're going to ride on to ride into the rest of the game. It's easy to beat this Dallas Cowboys team the first time here since 2017. What does that mean to this Eagles team right now? Uh, I mean a lot, but we know we got more, we got a big game on Thursday. This game was just a gut check. Um, how can we stay together mentally with them guys, with them guys being down and us being a little nicked up? Um, they did a great, phenomenal job. Everybody on the team with 
understanding what we got to do this week and keeping our keys and everything in front of us. And Alfred did a, an amazing job of controlling the tempo on the ball. And Washington went down to the wire with Pittsburgh, a hard-fought game. To be able to have the opportunity in the fourth quarter to rest them on the offensive start starters especially, how much is that an advantage going into this week? We shall see. Short week. You know how the NFL can oh, be. Seriously. Quick turnaround. We've got to just trust our processes for our body understand that this is a a big a big week for us but we got to continue with being what we're doing weekend we got Lane just said that this was the best defensive performance he's seen from you guys do you agree with that we're only getting better uh, can't say it's one of our best performances until we actually create a film. Um, it's one of our most dominant performances yeah. as far as takeovers and turnovers. So takeovers and turnovers. So we guys just can. Uh, it was real big. You know, it, it led them to uh, kick a field goal, which is you know three points is better than six points in our aspect of you know, defense, whatever. But. Uh, it was a good stop. You know, we celebrated and we, we had to move on to the next possession. You guys are averaging, I think, just over 11 points per game allowed as a defense since the body. What's changed? I don't know. We just balling. We feeling it. We all together. We all eating as one. And it's showing on film and it's showing in the game. Is this the best you play? This defense? Right, this game, this game? Yeah. You could say that because we got five turnovers, you know, and our goal was to get more more and more turnovers. And coaches told us that, you know, it's going to happen. You know, it's, we ain't got to rush it. It's going to happen. And to find out we have five, you know, that's a big accomplishment. And trying to get seven next week. Seven o'clock. Or Thursday. On Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> the three, some, uh, it's, it's, it's three games now this year where, where you guys are not allowed to touch down. What goes into that? Man, I don't know. We just come out. We got, just play our defense, do what we uh, are coached to do. And... You know, whatever Vic tell us to do, that's it's helping us let, not let the team score. Zach Bond was part of three of those turnovers. What impresses you the most about him, especially the way he played today? Man, that boy balling, man. That boy really like he really a star. And uh, I learned that he came from DN. Now he's at middle linebacker. And you know, I don't know how that transition is going, but from what I'm seeing. It's going good for him, so I'm proud of him, and he just got to keep going, keep it on the road, because what he do is motivate me. You know, I see, I'm celebrating with him every play. We having little talks of, you know, what we see and stuff, but you know, uh, I'm getting double. I see him flying down. He making tackles and tackles. Yeah, he just balling. Out. <laughs> on those doubles, it, seems, it feels like on those doubles, it feels like uh, the emphasis has been to get your hands up and to affect passing lanes and pass down passes. Is that something that the Staff sort of asked you to do, or is that something you just kind of do on your own? That's something we all been working on. I ain't got no towel on my back. I swear. But uh, that's something we all be working on. Uh, so, yeah, we just do it in practice. You know, we can't hit. They're going to hurt us. So we can put our hands up, and we got a couple in practice. But uh, it transitioned to the game. And I got one a day. I don't think we had any of this. But this is something we just work on every week. How soon before you guys start thinking about Washington? I don't know. I guess tomorrow. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a quick week. So this it change, yeah, like, like the game. It change your program? You on pace for a lot of touches this season, and you didn't have to play the last 20-ish minutes of the game. How helpful is that at like, this point in the season? Uh, I mean, it's always a good sign. That means we're doing pretty good as a team in that game. Uh, yeah, uh, I wish I was able to get things going a little faster for us. Kind of got into a rhythm you know, in the third quarter, but by the time I got into the rhythm, we were all pretty big, and uh, Coach uh, kind of gave me the nod like Kenny and, and we'll go out there. Um, but yeah, especially this week, having a Thursday night against you know, commanders who are who's, who's playing at a high level right now. What happened on the? Uh, My yeah. elbow just kind of just got stuck uh, in a. I kind of pile. We both were like diving for the ball, I guess, and I kind of just got stuck up in there. Nothing crazy. Okay. Was it, was it something like, was that why you didn't, you weren't in on that last round? No, when you, I, I did it, so I was trying to get the tape situated. Um, but Kenny, uh, just, Kenny's a really good back. He's been, he was here before me. Um, so it was more of just like, you know, kind of let it heal, let it. Like get comfortable with it, and he went in for a two-minute drive, and uh, came back out in the second half and started getting things rolling a little. You bit. had a good vantage point, Jalen, on that drive. How did, what kind of poise did he show on that on that drive? He did a really good job after the two turnovers. Uh, he did a really good job, and you know that's that's what this team's about. Um, you know, never folding, never panicking. Um, it starts with him. Uh, but you know, everyone that drive stepped up big, and especially up front, O line. Kenny had some big some big blocks on that drive and a, and a, and a, and a big catch, and um, found a way to get Enzo, and it was good. Uh, the mindset was a double dip and um 
uh, we wanted to score before we got into the half. Can you talked to us this week about the importance of you yourself beating this Cowboys team in Dallas. Everything it lived up to be? Uh, that's how life works. Uh, you know, you, I thought about it and it's kind of feel the same way. Nothing, nothing different. Um, obviously, it's a big win coming here. Uh, I don't know the last time Philly uh, had we won here, and it's my first time ever being in Dallas. So uh, it was big, two and zero division, and you know now we gotta shift gears real quick and to Washington. You mentioned that's what that's what this team does; it never falls. I mean, given how far it's kind of come since since the bye, where it's kind of you know two and two stars a little bit rocky. What does it say? I wouldn't say it's rocky. I think you guys made it seem rocky. Not no offense, like I mean. You guys are doing your job, but uh, panic outside of the locker room kind of, you know, it was from outside the locker room. It wasn't in here. We had no panic. We kind of treated it like the preseason games, to be honest. Uh, that was kind of the mindset. He was like, all right, we're done with preseason. Now let's go. Let's go get things shaken. What's it like for you now, like going into a first place showdown?